Well, John, the temperature feels completely different than when I woke up this morning. It was, it felt almost a little warm, yeah. you know, in the 60s, and now we're dropping quick. Right. We were in the 60s from midnight until we got into the afternoon before mm -hmm. those temperatures started to drop. But they are down now, and they're down about where they're going to stay as we go through the next uh, three days or so before they finally rise up. Now, these are those high temperatures she was talking about. Readings in the 60s across the area. And again, we saw these at midnight, and they just kind of held steady as we went on through the noon hour. And then that Arctic air uh, behind that cold front started to come through, and the temperatures started to drop. Now, here's where we are tonight right now, seeing temperatures in the 30s. Sulphur Springs is showing a 32, and Terrell just 33 right now. And we've got some 40s, but uh, not too long ago, we were still seeing some 60s down around Lufkin and Hemphill in the mid 60s, to, <coughs> excuse me, just a couple of hours ago. Now, as we check out what's going on across Texas, you can see that bulge of Arctic air as it has slid down into Texas now as we are seeing temperatures well below freezing along the Red River. Wichita Falls at 24, Abilene at 29, Lubbock out in the South Plains 26, and Amarillo in the Panhandle at 17 degrees right now. The front continues to make its way down toward the Texas coast. There's still some moisture out ahead of the front, but that's moving over into Louisiana. So we are, at least as far as the rain is concerned, pretty much cleared that out of East Texas at this hour, but it'll be coming back pretty soon. This is future cast as we watch what it'll be doing up to noontime tomorrow. That front stays to the south of us, which of course means the cold air stays in place and you get moisture overrunning that and that's going to create some rain starting up again. And you'll see there's an area of wintry type stuff expected from central Texas up into Oklahoma and Arkansas. We're not anticipating anything of significance in east Texas, but as we go through on to uh, Tuesday at noontime, there will be closer uh, activity as far as that wintry type stuff is concerned getting close to us and we'll see the rain moving back into the area. Wednesday at noontime, again, same picture as the front stays to the south, the cold air remains in place. And then we get even more moisture coming in as the low develops in the Gulf of Mexico. But that's the thing that as it moves to the northeast will finally bring an end to the rain. Here's a closer look at future cast and we'll show you on this close look as we go up to the noon hour tomorrow. We'll be cloudy. We'll see temperatures hovering pretty closely there in the 40s for most of the area. Rain begins to move in during the afternoon and to the west that wintry type activity as far as the uh, metroplex. And then as we go into Tuesday at lunchtime we'll see more rain for East Texas and a scattering of wintry type stuff but most of that out of the East Texas area. Certainly not looking for any type of accumulation if we do see any, any ice uh, falling or any type of freezing rain. We do not expect that to develop because temperatures are expected to remain above freezing in our East Texas area. But still got another round of some pretty hefty showers going on Thursday before things start to clear out. Rain ending before midnight tonight is just about over, looking for a low of 36. And then tomorrow, only 42. Rain begins around noon and throughout the afternoon it will continue. And that's going to be the case for Wednesday and Thursday. Thursday as well, but we do get some sunshine on Friday. That'll finally start to warm things up as we get into the weekend. For Deep East Texas, pretty much the same picture. Cool rain as we go through uh, Thursday, and then sunshine returns for next weekend. If you need to check that forecast, it's right there for you at our website, fox51.com.